Did Amber Heard fake her photos again? New photos of Amber Heard shopping at a discounted section at TJ Maxx have been making rounds on the internet and according to TMZ that photos are actually staged. So what did TMZ reveal about Amber faking her photos yet again? In new photos that were published by TMZ Amber and her sister Whitney can be seen browsing through a discounted section of clothes at TJ Maxx in the Hamptons. And when Amber realized that she was being filmed she quickly fled the place leaving behind everything that she had collected in the shopping basket. The leafed photos are shady to say the least, first. Fans believe that Amber is trying to gain sympathy by showing that she is broke and now has to buy at a discounted section from TJ Maxx. But fans are not buying it and saying Amber cannot fool the public. One user said Amber Heard's existing wardrobe undoubtedly has more selection than this entire TJ Maxx store and is likely worth $1 million or more. She's not so broke that she shops at TJ Maxx, she's playing people for fools to get herself attention and TMZ are complicit. Another user said is this her attempt to come off as normal in the public eye? Did she call TMZ to let them know she was shopping where regular people shop and that is where the shady part comes in? You see the general audience is convinced that Amber and her sister Whitney took each other's photo and passed it off to the media, like in all of the photos published you cannot see them together and there are only individual photos of them, also a very reliable source confirmed this theory when they revealed if these images were taken by a paparazzo. The paparazzo or the paparazzo's employer would be desperate to have their byline attached to the sets to get additional sales from media outlets. Here both sets of herd don't have bylines. That tells me that the images were either sold directly to the media outlet by a source who does not want to be identified, or they were handouts. For example, they were given to the media for use free of charge. This is not the first time Amber Heard has been accused of such a thing. During the trial Amber was exposed by an ex-TMZ employee Morgan Tramming who revealed Amber Heard tipped the TMZ the day she filed for a restraining order. He testified in court that they received a tip possibly by Amber herself, that she would be going to the court to file a restraining order with bruises on her face. Their objective was to capture her leaving the courthouse and then she was going to sort of stop and turn towards the camera to display the bruise on the right side of her face, the alleged bruise. Did your team of videographers get the shot of Amber Heard? We did. Camille Vasquez Johnny's lawyer also accused Amber several times in court for trying to tip the paparazzi one. The scene was a setup. She tipped off the paparazzi, so they would be waiting. They knew exactly where she would pause, which side of her face to photograph. And the photos captured what she wanted them to see, the image of a battered woman. What the paparazzi did not know is that the dark mark on her face mysteriously appeared six days after last seeing Mr. Depp. It was a lie. She knew it. Mr. Depp knew it and the multiple witnesses you heard from who saw her that week of May 21st, 2016, also knew it. ...user said, she is the embodiment of the boy who cried wolf. The amount of times she's got caught blatantly lying and still doubling down on those lies makes it so that no one will ever believe a single word she says, nor will ever see anything she's ever involved with as authentic. Her mountain of lies and refusing to back down on those lies even though she was caught in 4K HD Blu-ray will forever always outweigh any single actual true thing she says or does another fan said. She is selling everything like she always has interviews, photos, including photos of her daughter and whatever else she's disgusting. Fans are also not buying into Amber Heard's BS of trying to gain sympathy by portraying herself as broke. In case you forgot Amber Heard rented a Virginia mansion during the six-week trial whose rent was $22,500. She was also spotted using a private plane several times after the trial. One user said considering during the trial she testified to having the whole of the upper floor of Johnny's other apartment as a closet. She does not need to go shopping for clothes especially at discount stores. Do you think Amber Heard staged her photos yet again? Let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe for more breaking solid news like this.